Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Resuming right where I uh, left off yesterday. And I don't have a hat due to many fights and things that I got in at the end of yesterday's session. Let's see what we've got to do. I believe I've done most of the side content. I can't do this until I have $100. So I don't have $100. Um, so I can't do that yet. We do have a mission here for Trelawney. And we don't know what that's going to be yet. There's a mission down here with Mary Beth. We have no idea what that mission is. And that's pretty much it unless we want to go way the frig out here and meet up with Eagle Flies. That's one of the Native Americans, correct? Um, Kerosene and Tar. So I could if I wanted to. I would have to fast travel probably to Valentine and then right out there. But can't fast travel because I'm in the middle of the thing, Denis. So I guess I'm just going to do this story mission that's right here with Trelawney. That's probably the best course of action to take. Uh, TM52 Twitch cheered. He says, 1898 isn't that bullshit. Uh, doesn't read, read and store take place in the 1900s? Did they clarify how long the difference is between Red Dead Redemption 1's timeline? And have there been retcons that I've noticed? I don't know. Like, some people were saying... There were retcons. Like, for example, in this game, they said, oh, it's the first chain gun. But then people were like, yeah, but but in Red Dead 1, they announced, oh, here's the first chain gun. So how could there be chain guns in this game if, they, if it really had been debuted in Red Dead 2, right? I get the feeling that the historical accuracy is going to be, uh, as they say, your mileage may vary. Some of this, maybe they really tried to be accurate, and other times they didn't. Yeah. I, would, I would take it with a grain of salt, and I would suspend your disbelief a bit. I'm pretty sure that mo a lot of the stuff in this game is not historically accurate. I'm just saying. Watch out! Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need money to do the electric chair mission. Hey, slow down! I need money. Yeah, Marky Mark is in this game, and Marky Mark uh, is not historically accurate. He was not alive during the Wild West. Well, I need money. Oh, is it the tailor? And you can't go to the tailor unless you go over here. I've already been there, so I know this. Yeah! Out of the way! What the? Okay, the horse stopped walking. Okay, good. Where's Trelawney? The. <laughs> ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. <laughs> Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, uh, are we still doing that? Of course. We're, we're gonna going rob to rob the riverboat. So fine, no one will notice a thing. Oh, this is cool. You know what this is going to be like? What was that movie? A the Western movie that was based on poker. Was it Maverick? It was the one that had a uh, Can I help you, gentlemen? Fucking yes, Mel Gibson. My friend here. This was Maverick. Of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. There it is. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. Nice. It's he free. Just for this mission, it's free. The Whittemore. A very good <clears throat> choice, sir. Okay. I'm unwashed, though. <laughs> Come on. Let's get you to the barber. I'm wearing this sure. amazing... Oh, the barber. He's going to give me a haircut? Holy shit. Not my beard, though. My haircut, but not my beard. The whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. Uh. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that <clears throat> is when Javier comes in. And you take whatever you want. Ah. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. 
You will see. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. <laughs> oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. All right, they better cut my hair great because my hair's too long. But they better not cut my fucking beard. I refuse. I refuse. My good <clears throat> man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Stall your hair or beard or beard this at the bar. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself hair. not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. What styles? Well, very good, sir. No. It's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Super short. Make him look like a prince, sir. There we go. Well, <clears throat> nice. Cut the hair. That was cool. I still got the beard, though. There. Very smart. Come on. <clears throat> Let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation for us. If we please you, tell others. If we don't, tell us. That's a cool philosophy. Any better. <clears throat> Where's my hat? I have no hat. <laughs> George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad, the Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach. We can't win up no. on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. <laughs> I see so, who's a mark? You all right, by the way, driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery <laughs> of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend nah, of so mine. So they're gonna rig it. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right yeah. cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. Crazy Dream did a 300 bit cheer and says, It's like Ocean's 1899. Get it? Like Ocean's 11? Don't uh, worry. Knocking up the casino. Your chips will be waiting for you. Uh -huh. Nice. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. This will be a cool mission. Yeah, it's going to be unique. I get the feeling it's going to be Gentlemen, fun. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you, Arthur. Cool you river remember boat. this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Nah. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on. Let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. All right, here we go. 
I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The table's await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. <laughs> These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. <laughs> now where can I get a cocktail? Alright, so Strauss is gonna tell me what to do as I play poker here. Are you joining us? Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Fly. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. Check we aim to please, sir. <clears throat> so, so we got to watch Strauss in the background, Some okay? Business. He's gonna if tell us what to do. The same in life now. Where would the fun be? Quiet. Mm -hmm. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Did he go all in? They're all going all in. Call. Call. What the hell? Here we go then. Well, Hello, three queens, Malays. king high. Queen high. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. I lost. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. They did yes, it on it purpose. Is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. It was a setup. Likewise, <clears throat> Mr. Blythe. So what business are you in, Mr. Okay, Callahan? now we're even. I'm an oil man. For my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, Pocket Queens. I thought about getting into hosiery, but uh, I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound See, wow, he raised like 63. My wife. Holy crap. Shout out to, to Play Cool Cheer to sit time to face bankruptcy. DJ Sandex did 100 bit cheer. Thank Whenever you. DJ Rudo Cheer says you guys can get 12 classics for free on GOG right now. Don't miss out. I don't even know what he's talking about. And Fire Death Dan just subscribed to the channel. Thank you, Fire Death Dan, for the sub. Okay. Your action, Mr. Callahan. Call. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. He says yes. Here all in. Goes nothing. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. I won. I busted him already. Shit. <laughs> Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. No. Nah. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Mm. Sit your hillbilly ass down. <laughs> uh. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay, I trust you. Now play as you wish. So uh. you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Pocket Kings, holy crap. Let's not waste any more time here. Whoa! What Don't the worry, fuck? Sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. 
Strauss says to play. Okay. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. What the hell? Hurricane. Very good, but not good enough. Pair of aces, but we know Shit. Strauss told us the king is coming. Uh oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. Wow! God damn you! An ace high no diamond offense. flush. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but um, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? <laughs> Why not? <clears throat> Gentlemen. Please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Follow uh, me, sir. Impersonating a guard. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> We live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Oh, good. I know where to get another gun Very from. Good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, what yeah, will the world I come know. to? I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Okay. <clears throat> yes, you were right. <clears throat> Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Get another gun. Let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Get a get second gun. Out another gun. You in here is looking pretty good. How Nuh. much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. All right. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. No one heard that gunshot. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Oh, there we Come go. On. <clears throat> and how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. <laughs> Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls, <laughs> can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! <laughs> I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. A no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. Nah. Uh, shout out to Extreme Badmouth who has subscribed to the channel. Thank you. Oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Ah! Oh boy.
Oh no. What the fuck? I don't know. This ain't my shit. Where did he come from? Silly what the? Man. I think I got to bring my gun. To this guy came out of nowhere. It's over for you. Huh? Javier has died, so the game's AI is terrible, and I get punished for it. Okay. Come on, let's Seriously. Get the hell out of here. Oh, you a what, did I, what did I do wrong? I don't know. This ain't my show. Silly me. I clean forgot to bring my gun to me. You good as dead. Tell me where to go. I don't know if I'm gonna do it up if I need to go down. It doesn't fucking clearly tell you. <clears throat> Stupid. We need to get out of here. Oh, how do you suggest? I don't know. This ain't my show. Silly me. I clean forgot to bring my gun to Damn it. We gotta go. Oh, we're supposed to be going this way, see? That was dumb. My suit. All right. Oh, for Christ's sake. I thought there was supposed to be a shootout. Survive the shootout. No, you're supposed to be running. <laughs> it doesn't clearly say that. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? Uh, a few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. <laughs> uh, come on, let's get out of here. All right. Todd, they called me Jim Bob says, well, there were no waypoints back in 1889. Now it all makes sense. All right, so now I made some good money, right? So now I should be able to go pay for the electric chair mission. Hell yeah. Hell yes, I can pay for the electric chair. And I got my new haircut, too. Okay. Let's go do it. Said it was a hundred bucks. Hey, move, maldito loco! Shut up, maldito loco! Oh, El bandito loco. That's my name. It's about survival, ain't it? A human animal is a wandering one. Yes, a bit tight around here. <laughs> I do hope you're here to pay for our demonstrations, sir. Yes. Hey there, partner. Get lost. What? Get lost? <clears throat> okay. Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Okay. We're we gonna execute. Oh, no, no, there's no vicious murderers. There was no death row back then. They would just fucking hang people. <laughs> there was no inst insane extended wait to get executed. Hello. 
No, but women's suffrage again. Move! All right. Taco School Gaming, that's cool. Feel free to send me some pics on uh, Twitter if you want to show me some stuff. Professor, Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. That's this what you're here for. He seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Uh, you don't want to know, Arthur. Find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. Huh. So I gotta find this bounty. Where is McDaniels? Oh my god. Whoa! <clears throat> Way the fuck up here. Oh my god, it finally it finally uh, uh, appeared in Valentine. Look, you dealt with all the gunslingers, go to Callaway and Levin with the findings. It took the, it took a long ass time, but finally, much later in the game, I can now do that mission. Alright, well we'll do this one first. <clears throat> That mission is more near where the Native American mission is, so we'll do that all together. <clears throat> all right. <laughs> so technically, Arthur is still unwashed, right? Like technically, technically. I yeah, put a hat on. <laughs> All the mud's washed off his face now because of the barber. But technically he still hasn't washed the whole game. Except for that one time he had to wash his face in the barrel. Excuse me. Back then, if you weren't rich and you couldn't go to like a hotel to take a bath in a tub, didn't they like fill a barrel full of water and you would get in the barrel? I think that's how they used to wash. <clears throat> oh, please help! What the fuck happened? <laughs> Hi, I'm the doctor. Holy shit. Oh, you gotta. This guy got fucked up. Uh, uh, you gotta. Don't do it. Please. Oh. Do something. Uh, uh. He got fucked I'll get up. You help. Just stay alive. Okay. God damn. Okay. Help this random guy. Oh. <clears throat> Poor guy. Looks like he got mauled by an animal. What the shit was that? Why'd my horse jump? He jumped over an imaginary thing. We're nearly there. Just hold on a little longer, all right? Hope the guy survives. Stay awake. Yeah, you gotta stay awake. God. Where? Where? Now, Talk of Skull Gaming asked me what is my most favorite thing to do now? in the game. Honestly, it's the variety. Like, there's so much content and there's so much to do. I guess I can spend four hours playing and never do the same thing twice, which is really cool. That was very shocking, yes? You almost killed me! My arm. Feel it anymore. Hey, 
Okay. All right, friend. All right, we're at the doctor. Oh, good God. Quickly, bring him in here. He's all fucked up. <clears throat> bring him in here where I can harvest his organs and sell them on the black market. <laughs> Right here, and sit him down in this chair. What happened? Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment, but we'll deal with that later. All right, all right. A lot of blood loss. And this wound's badly infected. I'll save as much as I can, but I'll have to amputate. What? Damn! What did you say? Just try to breathe. Uh, oh, boy. I'll give you something for the pain. No. Uh, there you are. Then I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now, I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> you do not want to see this. Yes, I do. Let's see it. Not for the squeamish. Here we go. Sorry, it's come to this. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, Jesus. Crunchy. Oh! It's saw all over again. Oh, man! Oh! Fuck. Blood everywhere. Look, it's all over his ass. How did the blood get on his ass? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, man. The blood... <laughs> it's all over his butt. Well, don't need this anymore. We're in the trash can. Poor guy. Mauled by some fucking animal that infected his arm. Yeah, you're in a bad way. But you'll pull through. God damn. Well, that was the harsh the harsh medicine of the Wild West right there. Holy crap, man. <clears throat> okay then. Have a nice day, Doc. Nice of you to stay, but don't fret. You'll make it. Alright, Doc, thanks. <laughs> Let's take some extra payment since I stayed. Very nice. And no one saw a thing. DJ Runo says he's getting hungry now. Mm. Who'd like some nice arm kebabs or arm stew? Time to go, boy. Okay. Let's go. Come on. You idiot. Alrighty then. Hey, Unarmed you. assault? Oh, I'm getting out of here. I bumped someone accidentally. I, they reported a fucking assault. Of all things. I hate to tell you, no, that would not be a crime back then. Back then you could walk into people, punch people. No one would go to jail. It would not be reported as a fucking crime. It's complete bullshit. Complete bullshit. Thanks for all the work, Doc. Also, thanks for the tips. <laughs> Rob is registered. I don't know what the fuck drug did he give him that it instantly knocked him out completely. Yeah. <laughs> So we gotta find this bounty who's way the fuck out here. He'll be our electric chair uh volunteer. Yeah. 
Look out! Look out! Come on, boy. Apparently, I'm now 219 years old. Okay. I don't know what people are talking about. like a five to ten minute ride to get out to this fucking guy so far out here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Didn't I buy the varmint rifle or something? I think I did, but I don't know if I have it on me. Sounds like someone's in trouble. That's, like, that's probably the same guy I already helped earlier. Remember there's a guy in a bear trap early on in the game? It's probably the same fucking guy respawn. So they try to break up the monotony of the long rise with like the side content that spawns around you but at the same time i just want to get this done you know i want to i don't want to be distracted for four hours and never get this mission done so i'm just going to try to get right to the guy says I should try to get the best horse in the game, which is in the top uh, left corner of the screen. Yeah, I saw a few people on Twitter try to catch the horse and fail miserably, get punted in the face. Discussion going on in stream chat, Red Dead 1 or 2 is better. <laughs> I've talked many times over the past, last week about my feelings about the two games. We must almost be there. Yeah. Oh, this way. Somebody adding me for a hundred bit cheer. I appreciate that. Yeah. Let's see here, probably straight down here. Careful here, Buttercup. <laughs> Slipping and sliding. This guy's in a camp. Beast. Whoa. Gonna have to do some stealth killing, I think. See what we can do here. Never mind, they apparently saw me.
headshot. <laughs> Fuck him. Gotcha, bitch. Look what we got here. Come Very on. nice. Well, I got a special treat for you. Uh. You're your own jailkeeper, mister. In a prison of your own making. Loot his ass first. This is where he's going, he's not gonna need you. any belongings. That's right. Here we go. <laughs> Cam 52 Twitch says, what's going on? This is the bounty. We're, we're getting this guy who apparently is a wanted murderer and a guy who has sex with animals. And we're going to have him as the first inductee into the Electric Chair Hall of Fame, as they say. <laughs> Here we go. Not up, you kid. Take me to damn court, then. You say court? Oh, there's no courts where we're going, bro. This ain't America. We ain't free no more. Can't raise. <sighs> Shut Sounds up. like sour grapes. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? Shut up. Lucky man, mister. You get to be part of, uh... Great experiment. Shut up. Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly, is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. <laughs> what the hell you say, Mister? This professor, Andrew Bell the Third, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on to kill you. You may. No. No. Yeah. <clears throat> He's gonna <clears throat> strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. It's got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. I guess that's why he's a professor and I'm the bounty catcher. Well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. They wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. <laughs> you was in animal husbandry, all right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared, and there was smoke in the air, the smell of burning hair. No. There must have no. been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, and half like the skin was ripped off. Ugh. No. No. Some of them popped out. Ah. If I hadn't seen the storm, I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But no, sir. It was light. The electricity does something, all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But you know, hey. This electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, that must be of an entirely different kind. <laughs> Jay's crying. That's funny. DJ Runo Chitty says, Why are the double O's in mood and wood spelled differently? They're not, but they're pronounced differently. Like, oo or oo. Imagine if we said, mo mood or wood. Yep. Oh, these assholes? Fuck this. Oh, 
Well, if you shoot the cop, it's out. fine. Oh, what is this bullshit? <laughs> Fuck you. Nice moon. Look at that yellow moon. Damn, that looks awesome. And somehow the guy survived. Oh, uh, Crazy Dream did a 300 bit cheer and asked, is he making a Frankenstein monster? I mean, what he does with the body after the electric chair, I guess, is up for debate. I guess we'll see. What's up, Fleck Zen X? Good to see ya. Or good morning. Actually, it's afternoon now. Good afternoon. Swaggin says, uh, yesterday I said this was more like an interactive movie. Do I still feel that? Yes. And the reason I say that, it's all on rails stuff like, oh no, they're coming to shoot me. Okay, use auto aim to kill them. There was no challenge there. There was no skill or challenge in, in me winning that gunfight. Same thing, this guy, all you need to do is use dead eye easily, kill them instantly. There's like no challenge. So for me, it does feel more like an interactive movie than anything else because the gameplay is so easy. You know what I mean? I'm sorry about that, McDaniels. You all right? No. <laughs> I think that was scripted. Uh huh. Yeah, me too. Well, you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. Yeah, it was scripted because remember you had to steal the moonshine in order to do this mission. So it was scripted that those guys would show up as part of this mission. Good. <laughs> No, you see, Dude Frozen, I, God of War is not like that. God of War, although it has a lot of story, although God of War has a lot of story, it's tons of gameplay, and you need to be good at the gameplay to beat certain challenges and things. And this, you really don't need to be good at all. It's just kind of auto-aim, auto-aim, auto-aim. Bring him to me. I got him. You're wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Nuh. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well, once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready yeah. for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. Okay, there's one more final leg of the mission, but I don't think it's available yet. <clears throat> okay. There he goes. Okay. <clears throat> so, I think what we should do now... Oh, there's actually a fishing spot. Look. A bait shop. I think we should go back to camp. Okay. I'll sleep and I'll decide. Do I want to do the Mary Beth now? Or do I want to fast travel to Valentine so I can do my gun, my legendary gunslingers mission and then do the Native American mission? But either way, I got to go back to camp. So let's ride back to camp. Here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello there. Oh no, they're pile up. A two, a two carriage pile up. <laughs> oh great. Get out of here. You need to slow down. No, I don't shut up. Shout out to DJ Sandex who just did a hundred bit cheer. Thank you, DJ Sandex, for the cheer. Appreciate that. So I think I definitely want to do the Gunslinger mission. I haven't done it in so damn long. I've been waiting to do it for a million years. I definitely want to get that that done. And I'll probably do the Native American mission. Was it an Eagle Flight or something? I'll probably do that mission next. <clears throat> oh, this way. Okay. 
rerouted for me. Swaggy says, do I feel the same about GTA 5? It's just as cinematic as this, but on a smaller scale. Uh, I would say GTA 5 had more gameplay. It did, in my opinion. Um, like, even though a lot of the more challenging stuff in GTA 5 was the side content, like races and the like, I think the missions in GTA 5 were a hell of a lot more challenging and lending themselves to failure. This game, every mission is super easy. Like, honestly, out of all the missions in this game, the hardest one was the Ghost Cougar, or Ghost whatever the hell it was. And that's because the game cheated. That's because the game teleported the thing around the fucking cave. <laughs> Outside of that, everything else in this game has been piss easy. At least in GTA, there was some challenge to the mission structure. Right, plus Pinkdom just said, he's in GTA 5. You could switch between characters and do the missions in any order, so it had like the air of control. Here it's just you feel like you're on an on-rails movie-like western experience. I agree with that. I do agree with that. Julie says this game would be hell without auto aim. It would be very, very challenging. What would, it, what would need to happen? You would need to basically make all the controls way more responsive. Because right now they are they're sluggish. And your character can barely move. So what they would need to do is make it so that your character can move quickly and dodge bullets and then aim quickly, almost like Max Payne in a lot of ways. Maybe do a bullet time like Max Payne or something. You know. Ren Jesse James Jr. said if you go for gold medals, some of the missions are pretty difficult. Yeah, but that's the thing. I get that, but that's not necessary for the game. That's like an optional thing if you want to challenge yourself, you know what I mean? Okay. I'm certainly not saying I want the game to be super tough. I'm just saying, like, this is really just kind of like, uh, I feel like it's a relaxed ride. You know what I mean? It's more about just re-experiencing the story than anything else because there's nothing too challenging at all in the game. Not a single thing has challenged me besides a stupid ghost cat. Arthur! Arthur, get over here! What the hell's this? Go rustling? He wants me to go rustling. What do you want? Oh, don't be like that. This is a good one. Yeah, it always is with you. Until we start getting shot at. Well, have you ever been shot at by a cow? Whose cows? This drunken rancher up at Hill Haven Ranch. He's such a flop that we could take a whole marching band up there and steal, and he still wouldn't wake up. And he's a son of a bitch. He said unkind things about me. <laughs> he ain't all bad then. I, I owe you after last time. This could be my make good. I don't know. I need you. You know those two bastards that buy stolen livestock. Sure, I know them. I don't like them. <clears throat> I'll give you 60% of the take. How many cows? <laughs> I don't know. Small herd, I guess. 20, maybe? 20, huh? Come on. <laughs> We're gonna go cattle rustling. Okay, let's mount up. Alright, so let's see here. Dude Frozen says, well, you don't fish, you don't hunt legendaries, don't explore all. You can find a lot of crazy stuff in the game. It's unfair to say what you're saying because you only do story. Completely false. I've been doing all of the side content that I come up against. In fact, I'm doing cattle rustling now. I did I've have fished. I didn't hunt legendary animals because that's rare stuff that's out completely optional and superfluous to the gameplay experience. I'm doing the stuff that put, gets put in front of me, even stopping during riding to do optional side stuff on the road. So you're actually completely off base there, Dude Frozen. Um, Carrier Killer says, in settings you can adjust control sensitivity to basically make the game easier to control so my controls are off or my complaints are off base. Wrong. I'm reviewing the default game experience. I'm not here to say, oh, if you go into options and you massively tweak everything in the game, it could be different. I'm here to, to play and give my reactions to what they consider, Rockstar considers to be the default experience that they want you to experience. If you tweak it, of course, if you play Dark Souls with 100 variables, it's a different game. But that's not the core Dark Souls experience. You see what I mean? I'm basically giving you my comments about the core experience. So, okay. <clears throat> 